Hi, my name is George Muha, and I'm founder, owner, and operator of Morris Sussex Sports. You follow us, you know that on January 1, we changed our name to Garden State Sports. The reason we did this was because we found our content was appealing to Third down to give, Montella cuts back up the middle, and he's over oh. a thousand yards, and he's off to the races. Up in the air, blocked out! Don't be in wide open, Nick. Too easy right there. Molly Chapman, she'll take off from the wing. That one's good. Webb trying to get the pin. Here we go. And it goes! Oh, it it. That would win it for Warren Hill. Great senior night ceremony here at Lenby Valley High School. A 63 save performance by Casey Connor, the Crimson. And he break his record. Oh, 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 Edwards oh, 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 wins it. First game of your conference schedule. So good, and we're all so pumped and just happy to look Old Depan, Ramsey, Riverdale, and the Passaic County champs, Wayne Valley. So Harry Shorway's done a great job since replacing Christian Conway, getting this program to win B1 on the top in the county. Shot goal, and Vernon starts the season with the goal, and that Sid Van Tassel will be heading to St. Bonaventure, gets the goal for the Vikings. They are up 1-0 at the 11-03 mark. One of the changes, big change in girls across, no more halves. It's four quarters, 12 minutes each. So you'll see that on our scoreboard. And I'm going to bring in my partner, Kane University player, Kaylee. I'll get it right. <laughs> Don't help me. Zacharis? Close. Zacharis. Zacharis. Oh, sorry, yes. Kaylee. Kaylee, thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, of course. Kaylee, talk about what's going through these guys' mind. I mean, Vernon got off to the quick start. Mm -hmm. Opening day, you've been practicing. Uh, I know you played down in Cranford, but up here yep. in this part of the state, there's always crummy weather. You're practicing inside a lot. Yep and you're going against live competition, what's going through their minds? I just think that Vernon is hungry to get after it this year after losing uh, in overtime last year. Uh, first game of the season to come out uh, with this game is probably very exciting for these girls getting out there uh, for finally their spring season to begin. Uh, so what a way to start this off for our Vernon team here, scoring the first goal of the game. And you see with Vernon, I was telling you before we went on the air about Sid Van Tassel going to St. Bonaventure. Oh, yeah. One of five players in Vernon's outstanding history to get over 200 points. So a great start for her. Hey, we want to let everyone know this game being brought to you by West Milford Girls Across and Vernon Girls Across. I want to thank Harry Shortway and Steve Carlson, respective head coaches, for splitting the cost of getting this game on the air. We really appreciate that. So Vernon with another possession. We'll give you the Vernon starting lineup. They are in the blue. Number 22, Abby Bonmena. Number 44, Susie Chloe DeBonta. Both veterans back from last year. They'll dump it inside. Bailey Mann, number 8, had a great year last year. She's back. She's going to play field hockey in college. So Bailey back there. Also starting today, Sid Van Tassel last year, we said with the 78 goals. 
She had 100, she's got 155 career goals. She had 50 assists last year, and she also had 114 draw controls, which is huge. Number 16, Ava Pecorero getting the start today. Number 22, Taryn Picarillo. Number 23, Grace Dabrinsky. Grace had a good year last year as uh, she has scored. She had 44 draw controls. She's got a long, lean body. Good basketball player. That helps with the draw controls. Then Cassidy White, number 25. Abby Coley, 26. Annalise Drupka, number 33. And Abby Sokolitz back in goals. Vernon had the free position with a chance here. Shot. And that went in. It's a goal for the Vikings. And that's Kaylin White. What's the strategy there when you're coming out of that free position? Some teams, they like to dump it off, keep a possession going, some attack. What are your thoughts on that? I think it all depends on what kind of a player that you are. Um, if you know that you have a strong shot inside and you're good handling the ball inside the eight, uh, the eight meter arc, I think you should go for it every time. It also depends on if you, how well you know your competition. If you see the girls next to you, uh, they're good with their sticks inside. You might not be able to get that shot off. Another thing that comes into play is also the goalie. You know, uh, it's all about the kind of player that you are and the kind of you know quick game time decisions that you can make. West Milford goalie, we have their starting lineup. Uh, sophomore Allie Rocky also starting today. Paige Falva, number 42. She's going to play at Rowan. She's got 55 goals, 24 assists last year. Terrific, dynamic player. Number 35, Olivia Bridgebag, a terrific defender. Uh, you got Sarah Benowitz, 33, is back. She had six goals last year. Addison Arjanega had 17 goals last year. Five assists, the game winner against Vernon. Uh, Lily Kreutzer, she's number 29. Skylar Rabitsky, terrific on draw controls. Kaylee Mascarine, who helped propel that comeback with three goals for the Highlanders. She had 30 goals, 24 assists last year. Addison Seidner, number 21. Ashley uh, Kashuga, she's number 12. She's a terrific defender. And Vivian Cernick, and getting a start today, Madison Tino, she's a freshman. And your Barrett, not feeling well today. And also for Vernon, missing a key kid, McKenna Thomas under the weather. She's not playing. McKenna's going to play at Alvernia. So Vernon on the march, and they score again. It's Sid Van Dalsen and a quick 3-0 lead for the Vikings. Take us through that, Kaylee. What would you see? You know, I think that coming out hot and starting this game hot really shows that these girls have been waiting for this rematch uh, since uh, their loss last year. And I think that coming out the way that they are is really going to help the momentum going into these four quarters. Let's take a look at this. Let's see. That's a great feed. That was a great look from behind and a great feed inside. Um, and with that pass, that was Kaylin White, who was just a terrific player. Her oldest, Bree White, was a great player here at Vernon. Vernon's last won a division title, as we talked about West Milford winning the last two in their division. Vernon won division titles. They've uh, won a bunch in their tenure, 2006, 2008. Current assistant coach Casey Jacoby was a star on those teams before she went to Slippy Rock. 2010, they uh, won a division, went to the HWS finals and lost to Hunter and Central. 2011, the big year, they didn't win their division, but they won the HWS with the great Jess Mills, Leslie Werner, Brittany Ash, Brittany Parrix, uh, Steph Peterson, Kelly Dolan, Nicole O'Keefe in goal. That was a terrific team. 2017, uh, they won the Colonial North. Mackenzie Alter, who went to Kane. Uh, Erin Keneally was on that team. Bree White. 2018, current assistant coach Olivia Bocato was on that team. Katie Smoldone went to Pace. They just honored Pace. They were national champs. They were honored during March Madness. That was great. Brielle Ellinger was on that team. Maddie DeVries, Haley DeBonta, Caitlin Kowalski, terrific goalie. So this is a good Vernon program that's won a lot. And Coach Steve Carlson has been a big part of it. Talk about stability. 16 years for Steve. Uh, Casey played. Casey, the first coach at Vernon was Sherry Quinn, Casey's mom, who played at Ithaca. But that stability year in, year out, these kids know what to expect, right? Yeah, of course. Uh, when you have a coach like that, uh, that has that success and those great players that come up through the program. It really, as you're growing up, it really makes you excited to be a part of a great high school program under such a great coach, um, someone who has, you know, has such a tenure, like you said. And I talk about Harry Shurway. Harry Shurway is an old friend of mine, so is Steve Carlson. I met Harry when he was coaching boys lacrosse at Jefferson. He did a great job there. Went from Jefferson to Vernon, did a great job with the Vernon team. Got them to an HWS championship, won a bunch of division titles, Riz Division, Pooley Division. And then uh, Harry's a two-time survivor of cancer. Wow. And he's, he's still battling the after effects. He was battling last year while he coached, and the girls really rallied around that. Talk about that. That's kind of emotional. 
Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, someone that you look up to, you know, dealing with something like that, uh, it really makes you guys come together and come together as a team. Um, something like that recently happened with Kane. Uh, one of our alumni was unfortunately in a really bad car accident, and none of us played with her. She played years ago. But because we were part of that family, part of that lacrosse community, uh, we all rallied together for her. We did a big fundraiser workout for her and her friends. Um, you know, kind of just coming together with uh, the community and the alumni and just being a part of something bigger than yourself. Allie Rocky with a terrific save. White was on the doorstep. It could have been easily 4-0 Vikings. So West Milford's yet to get a shot off on goal, which is rare when you got Paige Fava out there, one of the best scorers around, number 42. So what's the key here for West Milford? They haven't been able to keep a possession yet. Yeah, I'm just thinking that uh, as I'm seeing it, I'm seeing that Vernon is really strong off the draw. And I think that if they want possession, this will be a game of possession because if West Milford can get that ball, then I have no doubt that they can take it down and handle it uh, on their attacking side. But being a game of possession, it's really important to grab that ball right off the draw. And that's what I think Vernon has been doing for the first uh, few minutes of this quarter. So if they can maintain that, I don't think they're going to be stopped. Abby Sokolowitz made the save and goal coming back. This is a veteran team for Vern, but they're young. A lot of sophomores and juniors. Mm -hmm. The seniors are a good, great group with uh, Sid Van Tassel and Bailey Mann. But they lost some good scorers from last year. Colleen Frazier, uh, Lexi Moskovitz. Um, and right now, one of the best scorers in, in, in the country, Lexi Vizzini's at uh, Eastern Connecticut State. She's a terrific player. But uh, Vernon pretty spread out, and Coach Carlson said they need to find secondary scoring besides Sid Van Tassel. Right now, Sid has two mm -hmm. goals, but Kaylin White has a goal as well. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have a stoppage. Out of the free position will be the Vikings. This will be Annalise Drupka, just a sophomore, number 33 with the ball. Let's see if she sends it back behind the cage. She's going to take it. No, she's going to go back behind the cage. Little wraparound shot and a goal. And the goal for the Vikings there is Abby Bonamena, the senior. Take us through that, Kaylee. I, we were guessing what she would do. I guessed right. Lucky. Yes, you did guess a, a, right. A broken clock is right twice a day. <laughs> but Abby gets the goal. Vernon goes up 4 nothing. Take us through that. Yeah, so I'm thinking that uh, as she came in, she saw those two defenders crashing in on her uh, right away. And she kept her eyes up. She didn't want to force that shot on the goal. Uh, because sometimes assists are just as important as, as goals are. Uh, she saw one of her teammates right behind the cage at X and just a little toss in crease roll right into the cage. And it's really important that you got to see that um, instead of just throwing the ball away. Sid Van Tassel putting on a clinic at the draw control, but a great job there by Wes Milford, Vivian Cernick. And the Highlanders will go back to work. They have one shot on goal. Abby Sokolowitz made the stop as we are midway through the first quarter. Again, if you just join us and you're kind of a casual girls lacrosse fan, no more halves. We're just like the college game, 12-minute quarters. College, it's 15. Yes, we play four 15-minute quarters. Shot goes wide by Fava. What's that kind of mindset for the girls out there now? They've never done that before. Is there a big difference? When you, when you jumped from high school from Cranford to Kane, was there a big difference for you? I do believe that there was a difference playing quarters um, because when you play halves, you know, you don't really get that time. Uh, to talk to your teammates about what's going on, unless your coach calls a timeout. So having that two minutes between quarters uh, really gives us a chance to, you know, like take a breath, figure out what's going right, figure out what's going wrong, what we need to fix, how we can fix it without using a timeout. So I do believe that quarters are more beneficial to the game. And I think it's smart because it go coincides with the college game. And yep. field hockey did it too. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you played field hockey in high school, but uh, – uh, high school field hockey went to quarters a couple of years ago to coincide with the college and uh, international game. Mm -hmm. We'll have a whistle. And again, this year I know on the college level, there's more power plays they're calling now. You know, a lot of players are being sent off. Yes. Used to be you had to get a card. Now mm -hmm. you don't need a card to be sent off. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot of different rule changes in the college yes. game this year. And out of the free position come the Highlanders looking to get on the scoreboard. Sokolowitz ready, taking the shot, saved by Abby Sokolowitz. And that was Addison Arsenega, who had 17 goals last year, including the game winner and the win at Vernon. And Bailey Mann wearing the captain's stripe on her leg. Bailey, tremendous. Her and Sin Van Tassel, what they've done for this program and the field hockey program under Coach Kieran Colleen, they won a division this past year again in field hockey, led by those two terrific athletes. 
and terrific students. And you know, talking to Harry shortly, Trista Starr was a terrific player for them last year, but concentrating on academics. Like, you know, a lot of these kids said, you know, we got we'll play club lacrosse, or mm -hmm. we want to concentrate on academics because you know better than anyone yeah. playing the sport at the high level mm -hmm. and the academic. That's a big commitment. Oh yeah, it doesn't matter what division you're playing, mm -hmm. one, two, or three. It's a full time job. You really got to love the game, and I'm very lucky to have the opportunity to love the game this much and have such a great support system of not only coaches and teammates, but also, you know, athletic facilities and departments uh, at the NCAA level. Um, very grateful to have what I have over at Kane. There is no better facilities than Kane. I go there a lot because they host a lot of games. Wide open goes through uh, the football fields, lacrosse fields, the softball fields. The facility mm -hmm. is just amazing. All the money they put in and uh, – I think they put a lot of money in getting that assistant coach, Bobby Sedlock, at Kane. Oh, he's the best. So We uh, love that guy. Uh, Bobby helped us hook us up with Kaylee today, and you also have a new head coach. Yes, we do. Coach Sarah Law, she, she's great. She uh, came from Montclair State? She did, yes. So a little bit of a in-house transfer within the end, Jack. So out of the free position, dumped inside. Good defense by the Highlanders. We'll have a whistle. Bobby, a Vernon grad, played at Marywood, coached Vernon boys, he's coached all over the place, and he's a young guy. He's a veteran coach, and he's a young guy, Bobby. And Harry Shortway was telling me before the game, Kelly, he goes, he goes mm -hmm. this is a good game for us because Vernon's a good program, because, but I hate doing it because I coached all these eight seniors when they were in eighth grade at the Vernon PAL. Wow. Vernon, uh, Harry, a longtime civil servant in Vernon, mayor, councilman. And his ties to West Milford, he was a longtime police officer here in Vern, uh, West Milford. Hmm. So Harry's got ties to both towns. Oh, yeah, it's got to be tough. You don't yeah. know who to root for. <laughs> Working inside goes through. When Harry coached boys at Jefferson, he hated to play Vernon because his sons played for Vernon. Hmm. But Harry, uh, an inspirational that was guy. A great cause turnover. Good work there by the Skylanders. Excuse me, the Highlanders. That was Lily Kreutzer. Battle for the ground ball, There's Fava nice going at inside. it. And a whistle, scooping it right up, is Fava, Paige Fava, with the 55 goals, 24 assists last year. She brings it down. And the Highlanders will get into their settled attack with 125 to go here in the first quarter. Thanks for joining us. Opening day, 2024 season on Big State Sports. If you like what you see and you want to get your game on, you can fill out the, fill, the form right there. It says, book your game. And we'll get you on. We'd love to come to your town. Doesn't matter where. In this, we'll go down to Cranford now. We used to be more Sussex Sports. We go to Union County. Yeah. So if you want to check this game out, wherever you're watching, we'll come. No matter the sport. Doesn't have to be lacrosse. Big State Sports. Under a minute to go. Looking inside. Goes through, but stays with the Highlanders. Cernic, 40 seconds. No shot clock, obviously, in high school. You think that'll ever come to fruition? Uh, I honestly do not think so. But just because of the logistics of it, you know, mm -hmm. it would make the game go quicker, but then that means every single high school in the country would need to get a shot clock as well with their scoreboard. That's a great point. Looking inside, shot doesn't get through. Great defense by the Vikings. Grace Dabrinsky scooped up. Who's going to get to the ground ball? Still loose. Cassidy White trying, but taken away by the Highlanders. Oops. Left alone on the doorstep. Broken up. Chloe DeBonta and Sokolitz there for the Vikings with two point seconds to go. And that will be it. A very good first quarter for the Vikings here at McCormick Field at West Milford High School as they have a 4 nothing lead. But remember last year, Vernon had a 4 nothing lead and West Milford came back to win. So we're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll have more here on the Big State Sports Network. And the name Morris Sussex was creating an unnecessary boundary. And while we love the name Garden State Sports, we've come to find out that it conflicts with many other companies that have similar names. After For years, it had been the same routine, working all night. Ah, <laughs> those beautiful faces. I wanted more for me for them, for our futures. There was this day that something changed, a simple moment of dress up. It opened my eyes. 
Take charge of your future and go big at CCM. Hi, I'm Dan from George J. Keller & Sons. My family-owned company has provided superior service to local homeowners since 1980. And based on the strength of our commitment to you and your positive reviews and feedback, we are now a GAF three-star President's Club winner. That's right, one of 30 winners out of 2,600 Master Elite dealers nationwide. Our seasoned pros provide the best service and quality products from beginning to end of your project. Give us a call today for your free estimate. My room is so cold, my fish froze. Mine's so hot, my sneakers melted. Rooms with different temperatures? That means your HVAC system is outdated and wasting energy. At ICS, we'll install an energy efficient system that provides a constant flow of clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature in every room. You could save money each month, and the price we quote is the price you'll pay. Get a quote today. See why we say ICS for HVAC. I see why. WIS gives me the freedom to be entrepreneurial, innovative. I feel supported to bring 100% of myself and my personality to work each and every day. I'm the CEO of WIS Family Office. I have two amazing children. I'm the daughter of French and Italian immigrants. Above all, I'm someone who derives strength and confidence from my ability to connect with others, and I strive to make a difference in their lives. All right, we're back here at McCormick Field here on the campus of West Milford High School, live on the Big State Sports Network. Dan Cleary, along with Kaylee from Kane. I'm not going to butcher your name on the air again. <laughs> I don't want to embarrass myself again. Kaylee doing a great job. Vernon with a 4 0 lead. Two goals from Sid Van Tassel, actually, uh, and a goal from Caitlin White, and a goal from Abby Bonametta. But this is where the game has been the advantage to Vernon, but a good start to the second quarter with the draw control. It's Kaylee Mastering, one of the seniors on this team, one of the senior captains. And ball will come through. Uh, Kaylee, your thoughts on the first quarter. What do you think? I think that uh, Vernon was ready. Vernon was getting after it, uh, you know, hungry for this win after last year's overtime loss. Um, they really came off the draw strong, and that's where they gained most of their possession, and they were all gas, no breaks to the cage every time they were down. Um on their attacking end. So I think that if they can keep up that energy, uh, this will be a good game. And West Milford, towards the end of the quarter, got some opportunities to get one right there, but mm -hmm. Abby Sokowitz has four saves. Oh, yeah. No, let that hang out inside the crease. We'll have a whistle. Hey, we want to thank both Steve Carlson, the head coach of Vernon, Harry Shortway, the head coach of West Milford, for sponsoring today's game. And again, if you want to advertise with us, there's the email address, georgebigstatesports.com. We have 4 million views on our social media. We are the largest platform. There's no reason why if you want to give eyeballs on your business, join us on the team here at Big State Sports. Picking up the ground ball. Good work there by Wes Milford. That was Olivia Bridbag. Here come the Highlanders. Ball bounces in the middle. Going for that ground ball. Kept by the Highlanders. That's huge because they don't want to turn the ball over back to back. We'll have a whistle. And we'll be against the Vikings coming out of the free position. will be Madison Tinho. She'll dump it over to the side. Highlanders will go to work. Skylar Rubitsky, her brother, great football player and wrestler here at West Milford. Spencer, the big guy. We'll have a whistle. Okay, I'll ask you because you've played this game all your life. What's the biggest misconception about the rules in lacrosse? If you're, if you're new to girls lacrosse, it just seems like it's a bunch of whistles. Yeah, um, to be completely honest with you, sometimes I don't even know what the whistles are <laughs> when I'm out there. Um, but a lot of it has to do with, um, you know, honestly, I don't shooting even know. Shooting space. Yeah, shooting space is a big one. That one is kind of tough to deal oh, with. On the doorstep and another save by Sokolitz. Wow, she's been great today. Fava took a rocket out of the free position, went wide. Here, ride here by the Highlanders. Good pressure by Rubitsky. Scooping up the ground ball. Cassidy White. She gets it to Chloe DeBonta. The third of the DeBonta sisters to play here at Vernon. Sister Haley was a terrific three sport athlete. Noel as well. And Chloe, the final dad 
football and boys lacrosse coach at Montville High School, Rick DeBont, a good buddy of mine. So Vikings with the four nothing lead. Vernon is in a new division as well. And they're in the Independence Blue. And that houses Jefferson, Kittatinny, Mount Olive, teams that they're very familiar with, Paquonic, Roxbury, St. Elizabeth, Villa Walsh, which won the Independence North last year. So that's a good division. Tessa Bowers plays for Villa Walsh. She had over 82 goals last year. So, but a good non-division opener for both clubs. And on the fast break, on the doorstep, shot goes wide. A chance there for the Highlanders. They're getting chances, Kaylee, just unable to cash in. Oh, yeah, that was a great opportunity there, and it was great that uh, her teammates saw that and was able to dump it to her in the middle. I think it's all about, you know, just completing the play. Their ideas are there, the execution. Um, they'll figure it out. I think it's just, you know, being down by four, started the second quarter. You know, they're nervous. They want to get points on the board. I just think they need to take a step back, calm down, and the rest will follow. This is Viv Vivian Cernick. As we mentioned a couple times already, they were down 4 nothing to Vernon last year. Came back and won. Shot. And Silkowitz again, unofficially with seven saves. Abby won the long line of good goalies coming out of Vernon. Sid Riker went to Robert Morse. And back when they went to the HWS Championship two years in a row, Nat Womble and Nicole O'Keefe, terrific keepers. Emily Rhodes, a good keeper as well. West Milford only, this is only, the, I believe, the 11th year of their program. So this is a very new program, and they've improved very quickly. West Milford always known for good athletes. They've had good field hockey here on the girls' side, girl, great girls' soccer, basketball, softball. Jimmy Dransfield won 500 games here as a softball coach. They won state titles in girls' basketball. So the talent is there. They just have to teach the game to everyone in West Milford. It won't be long. They've won two division titles already, but... They've moved up to a little higher competition, which Harry Shortway wanted. Ball pops out. That's great defense there by Taron Piccarillo, who was a member of that very good field hockey team for the Vikings. They work it in the middle to Abby Cawley. She dumps it off. A little too high, looking for White. Stripped. Good job there by Ava Pecoraro. Vikings moving in. Madison Andreola. Good to see Madison out there. She's been battling some illness. Battle for the ground ball. Who's going to come up with it? No whistle. There's a whistle. Now, there was talk a few years ago, Kaylee, about allowing a little bit more physicality in the girls' game. What's, mm -hmm. what's your thoughts on that? I definitely think that the girls' game can become more physical. Uh, but tough thing with that right now, I'll speak for college. Um, so with the new rule changes, any foul that occurs in the midfield will be a green card. So we're playing down with a ton of girls uh, throughout every single ride and clear. Uh, so if that can be adjusted, those card calls, uh, not playing man down uh, for any amount of possession, I think physicality should. Another be save by Sokowicz. She just stoned. Vivian Cernick, wow. And we'll give an early plug here to our Climate Care Player of the Game. You'll have to go to our social media to find that out, but if Abby keeps playing like that, she's definitely in the conversation. Again, West Milford getting chances. Good ride here by the Highlanders. Get the Van Tassel broken up there by Cernick. Now to roll out. Highlanders will get it. Their next game is going to be at Fairlawn Friday. Vernon doesn't get any easier. They play Sparta on Wednesday. And the great Uma Kowalski, who was a terrific player, one of the tops in the state. A few years back, Sparta went to the state finals. We'll have a timeout. They had, you ever hear of the, the Mead sisters, Caitlin and Haley Mead from Sparta, played in Michigan? I have not. 
They were tremendous players there. So that's who Vernon will get. We'll have a timeout on the field. And again, want to thank the West Milford Girls Lacrosse Program and the Vernon Girls Lacrosse Program for sponsoring the game. And we also want to thank our friends that have been with us all year in all the sports. Open Road, Mazda, Morristown. They're your trusted source for new and exciting rides, whether you're into small or sporty, like the legendary Miata, or need a full-size family mover like the powerful CX-90. Mazda offers a wide range of vehicles to match your style and needs. First-time buyers explore our affordable used cars and hit the road in a Mazda that suits you. Check us out and the link down below. It's Open Road Mazda. And again, folks, the Booster Club sponsor in this game, what if I told you that one of these clubs, we can raise, help you raise thousands of dollars a year by having Big State Sports broadcast your team? Well, if you want to find out, you got to check it out on Big State Sports. So you, if the Booster Club does the game, we can help you raise money for your cause. So uh, tell us about uh, Kane right now. What you guys doing? What's your record? How you guys doing? In the, you guys are in the NJAC, right? Yes, we're in the NJAC conference. Uh, we're coming out hot this week. Uh, we're on a four-game winning streak right now. We have a 7-4 and four record. Um, we're doing really great this year. Our team chemistry is awesome. We're working together. We're working hard. And then we also got the weekly sweep of NJAC awards. Uh, so oh, our, fantastic. Yeah, so our offensive uh, NJAC player of the week was Kylie Giordano, senior number nine. Uh, rookie of the week, Skylar Way, Skylar Ray, freshman, and then uh, defensive player of the week, Savannah Olson, also a freshman. So to take home all three of those awards for the entire conference is great. Which is a very good conference, folks. If you follow women's lacrosse, you know how good the NJAC is. So out of the timeout, we have 4:06 to go in the second quarter. Vernon with a 4-0 lead. They scored all their goals in the first quarter so West Milford has definitely won a couple more draw controls and has played a little bit deep better defense to keep Vernon out of the net oh yeah I think they're really kicking it up a notch and like I said before with the quarters that break in between the first and second I think is what they needed to you know figure out uh what's going wrong and what's going what's working for them and that really set the fire and got them coming out hot Van Tassel will start number 15 what a wonderful career she's had Going to St. Bonaventure, another D1 player for Vernon. Dump it off to Audra Leiter, who has checked in number seven. <clears throat> One of the marks of Steve Carlson over the years, he likes long, settled possessions. I mean, he'll take the fast break when it's there, obviously, mm -hmm. but he's not going to rush it. And when he had those that team in 2011, they scored a lot of fast break goals because they had three jackrabbits up top. Leslie Werner, who had over 100 goals. Jess Mills, who played four years at Wagner. Brittany Ass, who played four years at uh, New Haven. Uh, Steph Peterson ended up going to Wagner, played four years D1. That team was loaded. Oh, yeah, sounds like it. And Leslie Werner had opportunities to play Division One, opted not to. That was her choice. Mm -hmm. If I think of Leslie, I think of her late dad, Wayne Werner, along with Harry Shortway and Randy Mills, brought the game of lacrosse to the town of Vernon 25, 30 years ago. Fantastic with the dodge. Brings it back out. And we'll have a whistle. And Van Tassel already has two today. We'll come out of the free position with under three to go and running. Van Tassel. Shot save by Rocky. Good job by her. That's got to be a confidence boost for the sophomore. Oh, absolutely. Not too many times when Sid Van Tassel's looking down the barrel at you, you're going <laughs> to stop her. So West Milford looking to get on the scoreboard. This is Vivian Cernick. They've had opportunities. Abby Sokowitz has been terrific between the pipes for the Vikings as we're approaching the two-minute mark here in the second quarter. This is Paige Favre. You're not going to keep her down too long. She's just too good of a scorer. A little whistle. We have an offside here. We're counting up players. I'm not sure. I see four. Two minutes remaining. Two minutes remaining. So we have two minutes to go here in the second quarter. So this will be an opportunity for the Highlanders. Paige Fava out of the free position. 
Bailey Mann's going to try to close in on her. She does. Shot goes high. Mann altered that. And coming back and playing good D2 was number 26, Abby Cawley. 123 to go here in the quarter. And the first half will have a whistle. Critical scoring area. And we'll have West Milford, Vivian Cernick. They've been getting good shots lately. They just need, and it sounds so simple, they just need to put it in the back of the net. Oh, yeah. They're getting good looks. They're executing really well. I just think finishing up that play, finding that ball in the back of the net is all they need. And that goes into the side of the net. Tough shot there. Again, another good look for the Highlanders. And we're under a minute to go here in the first half. A ride being put on. Good work there by Sarah Benowitz. Sokowitz will give it up to Bailey Mann. Mann waiting, dumps it into the middle of the field to Alyssa Walker. Where it's checked in. Walker brings it up for the Vikings. 10 seconds to go. See if they're able to get a shot out or they're just going to run out the quarter. They have a chance. Three seconds on the doorstep. Bonamena with the shot wow. and the goal at the buzzer. It counts. We'll take another look at that. What a way to end the half. Abby Bonamento with her second goal. Take us through that, Kaylee. That was just, you know, trying to find the back of the net at the end of the quarter. That was a great look inside, a great switch to her left, and a great finish by her. Um, you, re you really can't ask for a prettier goal than that one. Wow. Great start to the game and a great uh, the first quarter and a great end to the second quarter for the Vikings. They have a 5 nothing lead. As we will head to halftime here live on the Big State Sports Network. This game is brought to you by Aaron Mizzarelli of State Farm in Randolph. My licensed and experienced team members are here to serve you for all of your insurance and financial service needs in New Jersey and New York. We offer excellent customer service and our office is conveniently located in Randolph, New Jersey. For a free auto, home, life, or business quote, Visit us at AaronMizzarelli.com or call us at 973-389-9999. Hi, my name is George Muha, and I'm founder, owner, and operator of Morris Sussex Sports. If you follow us, you know that on January 1, we changed our name to Garden State Sports. The reason we did this was because we found our content was appealing to a lot of people outside of our region, and the name Morris Sussex was creating an unnecessary boundary. And while we love the name Garden State Sports, we've come to find out that it conflicts with many other companies that have similar names. After considering a lot of different factors, we've decided to rename ourselves again to something that would be unique enough to not be confused with other companies and something that we could build our brand around. So as of today, we will be known as Big State Sports. To our audience and loyal sponsors, don't worry, our mission of elevating local student athletes with great media content isn't changing, and our focus is still on the Garden State. If you've been a longtime supporter, we hope we aren't confusing you too much, and that you can ride along as we continue our journey in doing our part to celebrate the student athletes in our great state. Now join us as we go big at Big State Sports. If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage, Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more.
Athletic Fields of America in Montville, New Jersey has become an industry leader in synthetic turf. Serving the greater New York, New Jersey, and Eastern PA regions, we have delivered hundreds of both synthetic turf and natural grass sports fields for youth and recreational levels all the way up to the highest standards and requirements of the NCAA. Our goal with every project is to provide our customers with exceptional workmanship, extraordinary service, and professional integrity while constructing a superior product that you can enjoy for years to come. Visit athleticfieldsofamerica.com. I enjoy helping nonprofits achieve their goals and really accomplish their mission, namely by nurturing my relationship with them, their staff, their donors, their volunteers, and their board members. I think the key to being trusted is really transparency. What I've seen time and time again is that when you give anything the right conditions, the support, the autonomy, trust, your full attention, it will thrive. This is as true for my clients and for my colleagues as it is for myself here at WIS. Go ahead, take a deep breath. Oh, nice, huh? That's some clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature. That is good, who installed the system? ICS, they're the leaders in HVAC. They make the duct work at their own factory, so we even save some money. That's impressive. You recommend them? It's ICS for HVAC. I see why. Ah. Hey Lorraine, go get a big plastic bag. Take some air home with you. Open Road Mazda of Morristown is your go-to for reliable and affordable vehicles. We offer a wide range of options to match your style and needs. First-time buyers, discover the joy of buying with confidence with our five-day money-back guarantee. Your journey begins here at Open Road Mazda of Morristown. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down if you speak nerd, we're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks. So fast, it's worth the wait. We specialize in roofing and siding. That includes gutters, windows, doors, stone siding, decks, and painting. We also utilize new age technology like drones and 3D modeling. The drones keep our guys safe on the ground with an aerial perspective, and the 3D modeling gives us exact measurements for a precise job scope. Give us a call today. We'll be happy to provide you with a complimentary drone inspection. We look forward to keeping your home and your family safe. For all of the perks that come with working here, I would say that the most valuable thing WIS offers is freedom. The freedom to make the most of your role, to really go beyond the job description, the freedom to think differently and be rewarded for it, and the freedom to show up as 100% who you are. Blue Nail was superior in almost every aspect. We worked with contractors for almost everything in the firehouse, and Blue Nail really made us feel comfortable all the way through, from the contract to pre-planning to scheduling, getting the job done. We are thrilled that they were able to do the job for us. For years, it had been the same routine, working all night. Ah, <laughs> those beautiful faces. I wanted more for me, for them, for our futures. There was this day that something changed, a simple moment of dress up. It opened my eyes. Take charge of your future and go big at CCM. Hi, I'm Dan from George A. Keller & Sons. 
My family-owned company has provided superior service to local homeowners since 1980. And based on the strength of our commitment to you and your positive reviews and feedback, we are now a GAF three-star President's Club winner. That's right, one of 30 winners out of 2,600 Master Elite dealers nationwide. Our seasoned pros provide the best service and quality products from beginning to end of your project. Give us a call today for your free estimate. My room is so cold, my fish froze. Mine's so hot, my sneakers melted. Rooms with different temperatures? That means your HVAC system is outdated and wasting energy. At ICS, we'll install an energy efficient system that provides a constant flow of clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature in every room. You could save money each month, and the price we quote is the price you'll pay. Get a quote today. See why we say ICS for HVAC. I see why. WIS gives me the freedom to be entrepreneurial, innovative. I feel supported to bring 100% of myself and my personality to work each and every day. I'm the CEO of WIS Family Office. I have two amazing children. I'm the daughter of French and Italian immigrants. Above all, I'm someone who derives strength and confidence from my ability to connect with others, and I strive to make a difference in their lives. This game is brought to you. And welcome back to McCormick Field here in the campus of West Milford High School in West Milford, New Jersey, as Big State Sports presents high school girls across <coughs> Opening day 2024, and two local rivals going at it today, Vernon and West Milford. Vernon with a 5 nothing lead. I'm Dan Cleary, along with Kane University's Kaylee Zecharis. Yep. Uh, hey, it only took me a half to get it correct. <laughs> I'll give myself a player of the game shirt later. I uh, want to thank the two coaches, Steve Carlson for Vernon and Harry Shortway from West Milford for sponsoring the game through their booster clubs. Thank you so much. And our game time temperature for the start of the second half, 51 degrees. Brought to you by ICS. Keeping you cold when you're warm, warm when you're cold, go to ICSHVAC.com. And this draw to start the second half, brought to you by our friends at Open Road Mazda. They're here to elevate your car buying experience. For over 15 years, they've been serving the Morris and Sussex community, offering top-notch, affordable, new and used cars. Trust the experts at Open Road Mazda of Morristown, where your confidence meets the road. You can check out their link down below. So we're gonna start this third quarter. Vernon scored a big goal at the end, right at the buzzer of the second quarter. Abby Baumanenema with her second goal. How big is that going in, Kaylee's momentum? I think that, you know, being able to pull off that last second goal right at the end of that second quarter, right before halftime, is really important. And that's, uh, that's what's going to keep them going through the rest of the game. But also, West Milford, they could use that as fuel, you know, to try to get some points on the board in this second half here. They've had their chances, but Abby has been terrific. Also back there, Chloe DeBonta directing traffic on defense, along with Cassidy White, Bailey Mann. They've done a great job defensively back there. A lot of communication on the doorstep. Shot! There Goal! West Milford will score. It's Addison Arsenega. They've been getting looks like that all game, and I'm glad that they were finally able to finish it and find that ball in the back of the net here. We'll take another look at that and take us through it. The key is they won the draw. Oh, yeah. I'm start. seeing a great cut into the middle of the eight. And, you know, that's a great feed from behind there, too. You know, you got to be mindful of where your teammates are and, you know, want to pass the ball and get off that assist. Paige Favre with the assist. So a great start for the Highlanders <laughs> to start this third quarter. Again, they want to beat a dead horse, but they were down 4 nothing last year and came back and won. Mm -hmm. Kaylee Mascarines was terrific. She ended up tying it up with a big second half. And Arsenegu just scored that goal, won it. And another draw control. That's where that game, the game is won there. Oh, yeah, absolutely. This is going to be a game of possession from here on out. Trying to win that ground ball. Field's in great shape. This is a great turf field. And we want to thank the outstanding athletic director here, Joe Trenacosta, for having us here. Joe has always been a terrific host. And it's always a pleasure to come to Highlander country. In fact, later on in the year, we're going to have the West Milford boys and against the Vernon boys. That was a battle last year here. That'll be at Vernon. So we'd love to get more West Milford teams on the Big State Sports Network. We'd love to do your baseball, softball, track, tennis. You let us know, and we'll come do your games. We love coming to West Milford. And we'll have a 
whistle. And a chance here for Hattie Arsenega. Get another goal out of the free position. Will she send it back to Fava? And see how she plays this. She's going to send it to the cutter coming around. Shot and a goal. A great look. Terrific set play out of the free position. And it's Kaylee Mascarines with the goal. So let's take a look at that. Set play. Coming around. That's Great how you look, draw it up. finish inside. Yeah, really can't ask for much more, you know. And right now, they've done a great job. Vivian Cernick on the draw controls. Sid Van Tassel out there for the Vikings. You can erase the deficit pretty quick if you control the ball. And Van Tassel will get a win for the Vikings at first of the third quarter as we're already two minutes in. Viking shooting percentage has been pretty high today. Most of the shots they've taken, Kaylee, have gone in because they've been very patient in their sets. Yeah, that's the most important thing when you're playing attack in lacrosse. You know, you got to be patient. You can't force every shot or nothing's going to go in. The Cabrero sends it over. This is White. Trying to break through. Sends it back out. Smart. Grace Dabrinsky. Grace coming off a monster basketball season. Vernon winning its first division title since 1978. Grace a big part of that. Ball scoots through, he's gonna get to the ground ball. The race is on. And a good win there by Abby Cawley. She'll give it up to Bonamema who had the big goal to end the first half. This is Van Tassel. Looks like they're not doing anything special for Van Tassel defensively, are they? They're just sliding over and calling out where she is. Yeah. No face guard. Mm -mm. And that's surprising with a Division One player on the field. Sid Van Tassel is extremely unselfish. There's times where they have to tell her, Sid, take over. <laughs> <laughs> her dad was, I always mentioned, terrific athlete at Walk Hill Valley football and wrestling. He was a region champ and wrestling great guy, Mark Van Tassel. Mom went to Vernon, part of the Stone family, great athletes. White with the shot, oh, the nifty stick dodge, and she scores. That's her second goal. Take a look at that. Sometimes with players like that, it's really more about blocking off their feeds than it is their goals. Because this girl could have 30 points this game just by popping it in the middle and having a teammate find the back of the net. White doing a great job. As we said, older sister Bree, terrific player here at Vernon. Was on that one of those championship teams in 2017, I believe it was. All right, back to the draw. Van Tassel will win it. Being pressured by Mascarines. Sent back. Patience here by Van Tassel. Swings it over. Drupka feeding inside comes through. And a good ground ball win by Dabrinsky to keep the possession alive for the Vikings. Back to Van Tassel. Feeds it inside. White. Little dodge. Smartly brings it back out. Good defense by the Highlanders. Trying to feed Bonamina and it goes wide. That was a good defense there by Kachuga. Ashley Kachuga, number 20. That was a great day. Vernon keeps the possession. A little bit too aggressive on the D. Whistle will be blown on bridge bag. Brinsky swings it over. This is White. Towards the last goal for the Vikings to make it 6-2. Another whistle. And Tassel swings it back up. Dabrinsky. Drops it off. More of a whistle. 
And the Vikings will come out of the free position. This will be Abby Coley. Just a sophomore. You got Coley's a sophomore. Drupka's a sophomore. Dabrinsky's a junior. So some young talent out there for the Vikings. Let's see if she sends it back to Bonamena or takes it herself. Can't get it. Who's going to be back there first? Did Bonamena get there first? And she did. West Milford has really tightened up that D since that first quarter. Do you see any adjustments, or are they just ex executing better? Uh, I think they do, that they just are uh, realizing what happened in the first half, and they're wanting to, you know, stop that ball from going into the cage. Another whistle on the Highlanders out of the free position as we're midway through this third quarter. Shot doesn't get through. Good defense by the Highlanders. Rebound, shot, goal, Vernon. That's Sid Van Tassel with another goal. Good defense there, right, Kelly? Oh, yeah, that was a tough one to stop, that rebound. But, you know, um, that first block was awesome. Great defense coming in crashing right off of that line. Um, but, you know, things happen. Can't That second one would have been a tough one to stop for anybody. Vernon back up to their largest lead, five goals. After West Milford won a couple of draws, got it to 5-2. Van Tassel's won the last three. Vernon back up 5-5, five, 7-2. Five, to He's going to get to the ground ball, and it will be Grace Dabrinsky. Back to Van Tassel. Again, doesn't get any easier for the Vikings. They play Sparta on Wednesday, and West Milford will play Fairlawn on Friday. Quick restart. Van Tassel back up top. Looking inside, Abby Coley, shot, goal! For the sophomore, a tricky little shot, and Vernon's up 8-2. Take us through that. That was a good look right inside and a great finish. Uh, she had really good shot placement on that one. She really knew where she wanted to put the ball, and that's where it went, found the back of the net. One of those youngsters, Abby Coley, picking up the goal, 8-2 Vernon. And this draw brought to you by Open Road Mazda of Morristown. Want to thank them. And if you want to find out who our player of the game is, you'll have to go to our big state sports social media. And that's brought to you by our friends at Climate Care. Five ten to go in the third quarter. You can't see it on camera, Kaylee, but Steve Carlson over there teaching with the stick. You see him over there with the Vernon bench working with the oh. kids back there? <laughs> Not even looking at the draw. He knows Van Tassel and Dabrinsky are okay. He's showing the youngsters what to do. Always teaching. That's what the good ones do. Oh, for sure. Coley swings it over. Dabrinsky dumps it inside. Good D by that the Highlanders. Who's going to get the ground ball? Battle with Van Tassel. Whistle will be on the Highlanders. Good hustle, though. Oh, yeah. Great hustle by both players. I think it was just an unlucky call there. Again, Vernon without the services of McKenna Thomas, who will be playing at Alvernia. McKenna last year came back after blowing out her knee. Miss field hockey had a good field hockey season this past fall. Looking to have a real big spring season. Hopefully, they'll get her back by the end of the week. And if you're watching McKenna, get better. She's just not feeling right right now, a little under the weather. That's going around. Face dodge. Whistle. Brinsky. Under four to go. This West Milford team is doing a great job holding them on defense. Um, it's a big upgrade from this first half that we saw. I mean, there was all the looks of running clock in that first quarter. You, oh. get, up, you get up by uh, 10 goals in girls across, it's a running clock. Yep. 
Verda was four, was up four nothing even before halfway through the period. So that's hats off to West Milford. But no surprise, they're tough kids. Oh yeah, I can tell. But these are the possessions with a six goal lead that Steve Carlson likes. They've taken about two minutes off. Swing it back to Dabrinsky. Two being covered by Cernick. Dabrinsky smartly sends it back out to Cawley. Cutter, cutter coming through with Bonham Nena. Low shot, nice save by Rocky. And a good job to keep the possession there. Is that going to stay in? Yes, it will. Good nice. job by the Highlanders. They're on the fast break, trying to create something here. They find Fava. She breaks in. Ooh. And Chloe DeBlanta with the stop there. What a great stick check. Wow. Silkowitz will send it on over. This is Cassidy White, a veteran. In the middle of the field, looking for Cawley. Here come the Vikings, Annalise Drupka. And this is White, one of those seniors on this team that played for Harry Shortway on the PAL League back when they were in eighth grade. Roger Leiter, number seven, is checked in. <coughs> Leiter will come out of the free position with 1.33 to go here in the third. West Milford got it to a 5-2 game, and Vernon has extended the lead to six now, 8-2. to two. Good job by Leiter. Keeps it. Trying to work her way in. That was some great defense there. Certainly great crashing was. on that ball. And the change of possession. Sakuga. Great job defensively. We approach a minute to go here in the quarter. It was a good start for the Highlanders. For Arsenega and Miskarin's scoring goals. But since then, Vernon has settled down and retaken a six-goal lead. Fava, shot, goal, but a whistle nice. before the goal. It's looking like a shooting space call. Yep. That's one of the frustrating things about women's lacrosse. Mm -hmm. Every other sport, continuation. You get yep. allow the goal, wave off the penalty. Yep. 30 seconds to go here in the quarter. Fava has a chance here to get her first goal of the season. She had a great assist. Takes the shot nice. and she scores. Paige Fava out of the three position. Sometimes it's hard to do that. Score a goal, have it called back, and then just do it again on the free position. We'll give props to her. Just being able to find that back of the net one more time. Again, one of the best scorers in North Jersey last year with 55 goals. And has helped Bush Milford win back-to-back -back division titles. But that new division they're in is a tough one. They got their arch rivals from Lakeland. Lauren Viganola is back with 48 goals. Reagan Lamascola, she had over 100 goals last year. She's playing at Mercer, played at Lakeland. And then you got Wayne Valley, the defending Passaic County champs. Allison McNutt and Alexandra Morgan, Sarah Vastro are back for Wayne Valley. That's a good division, but that's what Coach Shortway wants. He wants to build this program. Fantastic. Goes low. And there's the horn. So three quarters in the books here at McCormick Field here on the campus of West Milford High School. Our score, the Vernon Vikings 8, the West Milford Highlanders 3. We'll be back with fourth quarter action right after this, live on the Big State Sports Network. State Farm and Randolph. My licensed and experienced team members are here to serve you for all of your insurance and financial service needs in New Jersey and New York. We offer excellent customer service and our office is conveniently located in Randolph, New Jersey. For a free auto, home, life, or business quote, visit us at AaronMizzarelli.com or call us at 973-389-9999. 
Hi, my name is George Buha, and I'm founder, owner, and operator of Morris Sussex Sports. You follow us, you know that on January 1, we changed our name to Garden State Sports. The reason we did this was because we found our content was appealing to a lot of people outside of our region, and the name Morris Sussex was creating an unnecessary boundary. And while we love the name Garden State Sports, we've come to find out that it conflicts with many other companies that have similar names. After considering a lot of different factors, we've decided to rename ourselves again to something that would be unique enough to not be confused with other companies and something that we could build our brand around. So as of today, we will be known as Big State Sports. To our audience and loyal sponsors, don't worry, our mission of elevating local student athletes with great media content isn't changing. And our focus is still on the Garden State. If you've been a longtime supporter, we hope we aren't confusing you too much and that you can ride along as we continue our journey and doing our part to celebrate the student athletes in our great state. Now join us as we go big at Big State Sports. If you and welcome back to McCormick Field here at the campus of West Milford High School. You're live on the Big State Sports Network. And it's Vernon with an 8-3 lead over their neighbors from West Milford, a non-division game. As West Milford would be playing in the Independence Red this year, Vernon in the Independence Blue. But a good opener for both teams. Sid Van Tassel with three goals for the Vikings. Abby Bonamena with two goals as well. And... West Milford got on the scoreboard in the third quarter. Addison Arsenega and Kaylee Mascarinas had goals, as did Paige Fava, but Vernon with a five goal lead, 8 3. So we'll have the draw to start the fourth quarter and a big one for West Milford. So, Kaylee, what does West Milford need to do here in this fourth quarter to inch their way back? Obviously, it starts with the draw controls. Oh, yeah, of course. I think. Uh Honestly, during that third quarter, I saw a completely different West Milford team on defense. They they didn't allow as many goals they did in the first half in that third quarter, and uh, they really were communicating very well, holding off um, on the amount of shots that Vernon can take. And I think that the biggest thing that they need to do is continue that great defense as well as find shots inside, just like that one. That's it, Paige Fava with her second goal. A big goal there for the Highlanders, 8-4 now. So a big goal for Page. And starting the fourth quarter like they did the third, they came out, won a couple of draw controls, stuck it in the back of the net. And they're only down by four here, and we got a lot of time left to play. So this could be a very exciting ending like we saw last year. No doubt. That's what the Highlanders are banking on. So another draw control opportunity. And that's all Van Tassel. And Vernon will go to work. Abby Bonamena with the big goal to end the second quarter. Caitlin White with a goal. She's got two of them today. So does Abby. Whistle. And there's a turnover. That's exactly where West Milford want it. Absolutely. It looks like she stepped out of bounds back there behind the cage. Good look to Skylar Rabitsky. Rabitsky bringing it down. And as you pointed out, there's a ton of time. They don't need to rush anything here. Especially without a shot clock, high school across. Uh, it's all about maintaining that ball. And they got 10 minutes to score four goals. I think that is entirely possible yeah, for this West Milford team. I've seen it done in two minutes. <laughs> If you make it, take it. Absolutely. I think what they're doing right now, they're playing smart. They're waiting to s for that opportunity. Um, you know, just staying big, passing that ball around, looking for the perfect moment to drive into that eight. Well, the old John Wooden comment, the old great basketball coach you used to say, hurry up but don't rush, or rush or don't hurry. Yep. Keep it controlled. Nice move inside, shot goes to the side. We'll stay here with the Highlanders. Fava back there. Page with a couple of goals for the Highlanders. It's looking like we're going to get a free position here. Yes, we are. 
Let's be Addison Arsenega. Dumps it off. Shot goal. Beautifully done. Arsenega feeding Mascarines. And it's a goal for West Milford. That was a great look there. She didn't rush it. Uh, she saw her teammate coming up for that crease roll, and she just passed it off real quick, found the back of the net. If they continue doing that and making smart plays like that, we're going to have a good game ahead of us. Mascarinas with her second goal of this game at the 9.34 mark. And we have a three-goal game, 8-5. Cernic and Van Tassel on the draw. And that was big for West Milford to take advantage of that Vernon turnover. Oh, absolutely. And they're going to win. And here they are. A little fast they're break. They're not stopping. Fava winds up, shoots, goes wide. Stay here on the backup with the Highlanders. Feed in the crease right in front. Oh, What's the call there? Wow, the the ball passed goal, the goal line, and they're counting it as a goal. They're saying that's a goal. Yes, they are. Look it's a that. goal for West Milford. We're gonna have that to take is, a look at that. That is not what the Vernon girls wanted to hear. Let's see here. This is only a two-goal game. This is. And it did go over. Wow. That that is the right call. Vivian Cernick with the goal. Wow, this is giving West Milford the momentum that they need to continue. Number these seventeen last nine looked minutes. like it was her. Let's, stop one more time. Let's take a look at that again. Yeah, that was seventeen. Yep. Vivian Cernick gets it over the line. <laughs> Eight six. Here come the Highlanders. 9-12 to go. We may see a timeout from Coach Carlson if they score again. They don't have to be pretty, right? They just have to go over the line. Just got to get in. Fantastic. That was a nice check. Yep, and that was Paige Fava. Hmm, ref's not agreeing with me there. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a lot of time here. When Vernon had the six-goal lead, you can have those long possessions. You can mm -hmm. still do that now, but one mistake, and it could be a one-goal game. Absolutely. Right now, it's two. Yeah, so. and I think that this, it's looking like this West Milford defense is playing a backer zone right now. Um, and that's really important in situations and games like this where you need to get possession back immediately. This is a high pressure backer that we're seeing. White turns fire, stay here with the Vikings. Bonamena on the backup. And I think Vernon is kind of discovering the way to break this zone is just send a girl in the middle. Um, if she had made that shot, the backer wouldn't have, would have been broken. Vernon holding on, we'll have a whistle. Eva Pecorero. Another whistle. And at least Drupka put the ball in possession for the Vikings under eight minutes to go. Pecorero. Two-person game with Bonamena. Now they'll work it back. This is White. Two goals today. You can hear Coach Shortway tell them to go, match up. Because they're just going to toss it around. The most important thing here for West Milford is keeping their sticks up and looking for that interception. White, great job keeping possession. Dumps it off. Shot goes wide. And West Milford gets it back. An empty possession for the Vikings. Can West Milford take advantage with seven to go? This is a great transition down the field. These girls really want to put that ball in the net. Fava with the stick fake, and we'll have a whistle. And she'll draw the shooting space. Yes, she will. So she'll come out of the shooting at the free position. But a chance to make this a one-goal game with 640 and running. 
It's pretty much best case scenario if she could have gotten here. That shooting space call with the free position. Paige with two goals already. She works her way in. Shot goal. Hat trick. Paige Fava. <laughs> We got ourselves a whole new bowl game, Kaylee. We'll take a look at that. That was all set up by her drawing this penalty. Absolutely. That was a very smart play, a great transition, a great turnover, a great transition, and then eventually a great goal at the end of that field, so. Paige, who had, we said, 55 goals last year, didn't get her first goal until 17 seconds left in the third quarter. We said that you can keep her down for a while, but she's gonna eventually get her, her scores and she's done it already now. And she has West Milford right back in. They were trailing by six at one point, eight two. Now they're down eight seven. Abby Coley wins the ground ball for the Vikings. Good stick check. Turnover possible here, scoop it up. Ground ball coming back. And scooping it up for the Vikings, Alyssa Walker. That's a big win for the Vikings. Just to stop the momentum. Oh, yeah. And there's the timeout I think Coach Carlson has had in his back pocket. And I would, too, if I were him. He's going to take it. So we're going to look at the West Milford huddle here. Kaylee, if you're uh, Coach Shortway, what are you telling uh, the team right here? I'm telling them to keep up this intensity and keep up that drive. Um, these girls look like a completely different team from the first half. They were scoreless in the first quarter no yes yeah. it was four nothing yes they were scoreless in the first quarter and now they're coming up seven eight with six minutes left to go in the game i'm telling them that whatever has got them going to just keep it up and uh what's steve carlson telling his team one goal lead with the ball and a ton of time i'm thinking that he wants to get possession and hold it until the perfect opportunity because if they make one mistake and there's another turnover West Milford's going to score, and this is going to be a tied game. So I think he wants his girls to get possession and hold it until they know that that ball is going to go into the gauge. And if I remember last year's game when they came back to win, it was Vernon's senior night. So I'm sure that's what Coach Carlson was like. Do you want this happening again? Last year it happened on senior night. They forced overtime, and Addison Arsenega had the big overtime goal. All right, so Vernon will come out of the timeout with the ball. And a one goal lead as we're almost exactly midway through the fourth quarter. Again, thanks for joining us live on here on the Big State Sports Network. You see right there, book your game. We will go anywhere. We'd love to come to do more West Milford games no matter what the sport. So book your game there, folks. We love coming up here to Passaic County. But we'll go anywhere. Big State Sports. Used to be more Sussex, but we're all over now. State of New Jersey, folks. If you want to advertise, send an email to George at BigStateSports.com. Four million views on our social media. There's no other platform that can give your business that kind of exposure. Good hard defense there by Bridgebag. A little bit too hard. Got a whistle. Bonamena out of the free position. Dumps it off. Coming around. Shot. Goal. Big goal there for the Vikings, Ava Pecorero, number 16. A much needed score for Vernon. We'll take a look at that. Is that fantastic, excuse me. Nope, it was Pecorero, number 16. So Ava gets a goal. I think that they really needed that there. Uh, uh, Are they talking about this? Looks like it. We got a yellow, a yellow card. And it will be on number 16. On this goal scorer. Huh. Was that not a goal? So are they waving that goal off? Yes, they are. They're not taking the face off. No goal. Oh, wow. Or do they get a free possession? No, they, they, would, they would still take a draw, correct? Yeah, because the card was called on the offense. It's looking like a goalie ball here. Yeah, so no goal. Back to 
Not sure what that card was called for. Looks like a clean goal. Oh. Stopping the clock here. Yeah, the opening day for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yep, stop the clock, 5.29 to go. Okay. Yeah, that would make sense if you were going to count the goals, they were going to give them the possession, yeah. Vernon. All right, so we have a yellow card. We have a power play here, a little man up. Still a lot of game left. Yes, indeed. In a one-goal game, can West Milford take advantage? Big ball in the middle here. Who's going to win the ground ball? Bailey Mann, Vernon captain, trying to get to it. She does. Big win for the Vernon captain. West Milford is right there. Get this to Van Tassel. Now, if you're down a person, you want to run a little something here, run some clock so you can get your teammate back out there? Or obviously, if you have an open shot, you'll take it. Yeah, I'm thinking they, they might want to run the clock out to their team it gets back. But this West Milford team is really playing hard defense on them. Would They're you really double? trying to take advantage. You, would you double here if you're West Milford because you're up a person? Yes, it's basically like you're running a zone, but you have mm -hmm. an extra girl. So they're in that backer right now. Every single ball should be doubled if I'm playing defense for West Milford. And now we are even strength. So I don't know what the call was. Pecoraro wasn't off for very long. No. Well, maybe get a clarification during our post game. But it remains 8-7. Vernon with the ball and the lead with just over four minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Opening day for both squads. A crossover game, each in different divisions in the North Jersey girls lacrosse interscholastic league. Vernon, run a little clock here. As they spread the field. And you can hear Harry Shortway say match up, they're gonna go man. And that's gonna allow a kid like Van Tassel to do what she does. Mm -hmm. If they spread it out, let's say face guard her. Let's see. Nothing yet. This is white. Beats the see defender and pops out of her stick. 3.15 to go. And Caitlin White, who's had an excellent game on the senior leaders on this team, with two goals, looking for goal number three to give him a little cushion here. White shot, saved by Rocky. Rebound, another oh, save goes wide. Shot goes wide, excuse me, no save. Great job by Ali Rocky, the sophomore. Vernon will keep the possession, but Wes Milford will take that instead of a goal. Oh, yeah. 2.40 to go. Good defense. Good check behind. Stay here with the Vikings. Dangerous pass. Could be a turnover. Battling for the ball. Who's Whoever gonna get there? That ball. Huge ground ball. Who's gonna get it? Sid Van Tassel got to it. She drew the whistle. And Vernon will get the possession with 2.15 to go. So Vernon's gonna work this clock. Force West Milford to play man and mm -hmm. then look for an open cutter. Yeah, be playing this wide open and so far out, this Vernon team, that's giving all their girls, their good Dodgers, the opportunity to just cut right by their defender and take it to cage. There's not a single player inside the eight right now. And coming around the corner, pops out of the stick. Good defense by the Highlanders. Vivian Cernick scoops up the ground ball, a minute 40 to go. Will coach shortly call a timeout if things get a little hairy here. Here comes Paige Fava. She's got her teammate wide open down on the crease. And Sokowitz with the save. Mm. I think someone got a piece of that. Abby Sokowitz with the save, 120 to go. She'll take her time here. She's gonna wait there. They gotta come up and challenge her. They've already lost about 15 seconds. Now coming up the player is Tino. 
They get to Cassidy White, Alyssa Walker. Walker a minute to go. Vernon with a goal lead. And a whistle will be on Fava. Walker starts again. Ball pops out. Whistle on the Highlanders. Hmm. 50 seconds to go. Sid Van Tassel, see if she can run around for 50 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> if anyone can, it's her. She'll get it to Dabrinsky. Back to Sid. 36 seconds to go. Vernon holding on to an 8-7 lead. We knew this would be a good one, and it is not disappointed. Dabrinsky draws the whistle, and they're going to stop the clock with 28 seconds to go, and we're going to have a card. At this point, you got to be aggressive. If that's going to happen, it's going to happen. Yeah. I'm honestly not surprised to see a card so late in the game, you know, especially with a close game like this. West Milford's doing everything they can to get that ball back. And can Vernon run out the final 25? Dabrinsky, here comes the double. Back to Van Tassel. Smartly swings it over. Maddie Andriola inside. Van Tassel shot. What a great save. Great save by Rocky. And they have a chance to tie this with 10 seconds to go. Here <laughs> they come. Up the middle. Paige oh, Fava. Running. Five seconds to go. Fava's got to get rid of it. She does. On the door. Oh, shot my goal. God. We're tied with, with 0.37 seconds, seconds left. Wow. What a finish by the Highlanders. This is an exciting one here. Let's take a look at Paige Fava on her horse. Dumps it off to Addison Arsenego at the game winner last year, and she ties it up. What a finish here by West Milford. Whoa. As we're going to have a draw, and then we're going to go to overtime. Oh, my goodness. Just like last year, West Milford refusing to go away. We are these, tied at eight. These West Milford girls are freaking out, as they should be. This is awesome. Arsenega with two goals, but that was all Paige Fava bringing that up by herself. Absolutely. And getting in recognizing. So we're going to have time for a draw, and that's it. And we're going to head to overtime here. Opening day, huh? Pretty good stuff for opening day here on the Big State Sports Network. Cross is back. And there's the horn. We are going to overtime here at McCormick Field, tied at eight. We're going to take a break. When we are back, we're going to have overtime for the second year in a row between the Highlanders and the Vikings. There's town. Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage. Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. of America in Montville, New Jersey has become an industry leader in synthetic turf. Serving the greater New York, New Jersey, and Eastern PA regions, we have delivered hundreds of both synthetic turf and natural grass sports fields for youth and recreational levels all the way up to the highest standards and requirements of the NCAA. Our goal with every project is to provide our customers with exceptional workmanship, extraordinary service, and professional integrity while constructing a superior product that you can enjoy for years to come. Visit athleticfieldsofamerica.com. I enjoy helping nonprofits achieve their goals and really accomplish their mission, namely by nurturing my relationship with them, their staff, their donors, their volunteers, and their board members. I think the key to being trusted is really transparency. What I've seen time and time again is that when you give anything the right conditions, the support, the autonomy, trust, your full attention, it will thrive. This is as true for my clients and for my colleagues as it is for myself here at WIS. Thank you. 
Go ahead. Take a deep breath. Oh, nice, huh? That's some clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature. That is good. Who installed the system? ICS. They're the leaders in HVAC. They make the duct work at their own factory, so we even save some money. That's impressive. You recommend them? It's ICS for HVAC. I see why. Ah. Hey, Lorraine, go get a big plastic bag. Take some air home with you. Open Road Mazda of Morristown is your go-to for reliable and affordable vehicles. We offer a wide range of options to match your style and needs. First-time buyers, discover the joy of buying with confidence with our five-day money-back guarantee. Your journey begins here at Open Road Mazda of Morristown. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second. And we're back here at McCormick Field here at the campus of West Milford High School. Overtime here on the Big State Sports Network on opening day 2024. Vernon 8, West Milford 8. Vernon had an 8-2 lead. Addison Arsenega with .3 seconds left, Kaylee. Score, but all the credit to Paige Fava for bringing it down after Vernon took a shot. And Absolutely. Score. Big save by Rocky. So three minutes on the clock. This Sudden is huge victory. for these girls. Whoever gets the draw, it's huge. Now, I know in boys lacrosse, when you play overtime, if you win the faceoff, they usually call a timeout. Do you think we'll see a timeout here unless you're unless they start and they're in a fast break situation? I think we're going to see how this one plays out here. This Who's could be West Milford's ball. Ball's loose. Who's going to get it? Huge ground ball. No one has it yet. Vikings come up with it. Out of the scramble. It's white. And Vernon now will take their time. They'll get into their settled attack. They'll work it back. West Milford's defense has been great, and I have no doubt that they're going to continue that through this three minutes in overtime. This is where number 15 from Vernon, going to St. Bonaventure, all-state candidate. She might be able to take over here, although they'll be looking for Sid Van Tassel. Here she goes. Van Tassel draws the penalty, and she'll be out of the free position. Van Tassel could possibly end it here for the Vikings. This could be the game. Yes, indeed. And you know what? You have a D1 player. Get the ball on her stick. Yeah. So Sid Van Tassel has a chance to end this. Out of the free position. Rocky's ready. Van Tassel breaks in. Shot. Goal. <laughs> Vernon wins with the goal as they will post a 9-8 victory in overtime with 152 to go in overtime. Sid Van Tassel gets her fourth goal. As we take a look at this, good job by Abby Silkowitz. That you was know, a tremendous fight, tremendous effort from both teams absolutely. here. Absolutely. And you can't blame Rocky on that one. You got a D1 player. She stopped absolutely. it one time before. Yeah. So, uh, Kaylee, real quick, your thoughts on what we saw today. I think that both teams put up a great fight. It was a great game to watch, a lot of fun to be a part of. And I think that uh, if this is just the first game of the season, both these teams have a lot of potential uh, to carry throughout the the rest of their spring season. Well, Kaylee, great job. We hope to have you on for more games, and more importantly, best of luck with the Kane Cougars. Thank and you the very much. Women's lacrosse team and our friend Bobby Sedlock. Yep. So we want to thank them. Great job today producing Kyler Hackney doing a great job and Eric Van Orsdale on the camera. And if you want to find out who our player of the game is, you have to go to our social media, Big Sports, Big State Sports social media, brought to you by Common Care. So guys, Great way to start the season. Looking forward to more games. I'm Dan Cleary. We'll see you again soon, live on the Big State Sports Network. Eric, not feeling well today. And also for Vernon, missing a key kid, McKenna Thomas under the weather. She's not playing. McKenna's going to play at Alvernia. So Vernon on the march, and they score again. It's Sid Van Dassel and a quick 3-0 lead for the Vikings. Take us through that, Kaylee. What'd you see? The goal. Eric, not feeling well today. And also for Vernon, missing a key kid, McKenna Thomas under the weather. She's not playing. McKenna's going to play at Alvernia. So Vernon on the march, and they score again. It's Sid Van Dassel and a quick 3-0 lead for the Vikings. Take us through that, Kaylee. What'd you see? The goal. And the goal for the Vikings there is Abby Bonamena, the senior. Take us through that, Kaylee. I, we were guessing what she would do. I guessed right. Lucky. Yes, you did. So simple. They just need to put it in the back of the net. Oh, yeah. They're getting good looks. They're executing really well. I just think finishing up that play, finding that ball in the back of the net is all they need. And that goes into the side of the net. Tough shot there. Again. 
They have a chance. Three seconds on the doorstep. Bonamena with the shot wow. and the goal at the buzzer. It counts. We'll take another look at that. What a way to end. With them, their staff, their donors, their volunteers, and their board members. I think the key to being trusted is really transparency. What I've seen time and time again is that when you give transparency. What I've seen time and time again is that when you give anything the right conditions, the support, the autonomy, trust, your full attention, it will thrive. This is as true for my clients and for my colleagues as it is for myself here at WIS. Bailey man. They've done a great job defensively back there. A lot of communication on the doorstep shot. There Goal! West Guilford will score. It's Addison Arsenega. By the free position, will she send it back to Fava? Let's see how she plays this. She's going to send it to the cutter coming around. Shot that and was a goal. Great look. Terrific set play out of the free position. And it's wrestling. He's a reaching champ and wrestling great guy, Mark Van Tassel. Mom went to Vernon, part of the Stone family, great athletes. White with the shot. Oh, the nifty stick dodge. And she scores. That's her second goal. At the free position as we're midway through this third quarter. Shot doesn't get through. Good defense by the Highlanders. Rebound, shot, goal, Vernon. Tassel back up top. Looking inside, Abby Coley, shot, goal! For the sophomore, a tricky little shot, and Vernon's up 8-2. Is that gonna stay in? Yes, it will. Good nice. job by the Highlanders. They're on the fast break, trying to create something here. They find Fava, she breaks in, and Chloe DeBlanta with the stop there. What a great stick check. Wow. Settle down and retaking the a six goal lead. Fava, shot, goal, but a whistle nice. before the goal. It's looking like a shooting space call. Yep, that's one of the frustrating things about women's lacrosse. Mm -hmm. Three seconds to go here in the quarter. Fava has a chance here to get her first goal of the season. She had a great assist. Takes the shot nice. and she scores. Paige Fava has the three position. Sometimes it's hard to do that. Score a goal, have it called back, and then go there for the Highlanders. 8 4 now. So, big goal for Paige. It's looking like we're going to get a free position here. Yes, we are. It'll be Addison Arsenega. Dumps it off. Shot, goal. Beautifully done. Arsenega feeding Mascarines. And it's a goal. Feet in the crease, right in front. Oh! Wait, wait, what's the call there? Wow, the, the ball passed goal, the goal line and they're she could have gotten here. That shooting space call with the free position. Paige with two goals already. She works her way in, shot, goal! Hat trick, Paige Fava. Free position, dumps it off. Coming around, shot, goal! Big goal there for the Vikings, Ava Pecorero, number 16. A much needed two goals, looking for goal number three to give them a little cushion here. White shot, saved by Rocky. Rebound, oh, save goes wide. Shot goes wide, excuse me, no save. Great place to go. <laughs> here they come. Up the middle, Paige oh, Fava. Running. Five seconds ago, Fava's got to get rid of it. She does, on the doorstep, shot oh, goal. Oh my God. We are tied with, with 0.37 seconds. Out of the free position. Rocky's ready. Van Tassel breaks in, shot, goal! Vernon wins with the goal as they will post a 9-8 victory in overtime with 1.52 to go in overtime.